Hi, Jeannie here from listentoyourfreedom.com. I am going to show you how to link to another site from within your blog post on your WordPress blog. Okay, so here I have one of my blog posts open here. And let's say I want to add a hyperlink right here. It's called a hyperlink when it links to, you know, another site like here, for example. All right, so what I do is I, let's say I decide I want to link this Mary Cox because I want people to be able to know how to go and find her. Now, a hyperlink looks like these. See, these are in blue, and when I click on them, they are going to go to the site or the piece of information that I've hyperlinked to. And you'll see for mine, my ha I make sure that all of my links open in a separate window so that people don't lose my site. All right, so now let's go do that up here, and I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. So I'm going into my back end and I'm editing my post. Now this thing here is called your HTML editor or your visual editor and you can see you can work in visual or you can work in text. So if you're, po if you're pasting code you want to be in text but for hyperlinking or any kind of linking it's better to be in visual. So I bring my cursor down here and I highlight the text that I want to link and then I come up here, you see these things that look like knots tied together, or I guess they look kind of like chain links. Insert or edit a link, you click on that, it opens up. Now it's asking me where, what's the web page that I want to link to? And I say, oh, well actually I want to link here to Mary Cox's page on LinkedIn. So I grab the URL, you see I'm highlighting it in my browser, and I'm copying it. Okay, and you can do that right click and copy, or if you have an Apple Mac, you can press Command C. Then you come back over here and you paste it in here. All right, paste. So there's her site now. And this is very important open link in a new window tab. Yes, you always want to do that so that people don't lose your site and then you click add link and then you see there now this is underlined so that shows me that there's a link there now if I wanted to remove that link I would highlight it and I would click on this one which is unlink but I don't want to do that I want to keep it so now I update or if this was a new post you would click publish so I click update and then I'm going to take you to the post and show you what it looks like when it's live. Okay, so there we go. Mary Cox, look, it's hyperlinked. I click on it, comes over here to Mary's LinkedIn page, and it is just that easy.